morning everyone. Good day. I am going to share a dream. This one I had in July. The 10th of July. <clears throat> with It was a dream with Jesus. Uh, it was the first one uh, where I saw him. And um, we see him sometimes and we don't realize in our dream. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, okay. I was with a few people and Jesus with, was with us. Like a friend and a teacher. Rabbi. He wore jeans and a cotton long sleeve top. Simple. He was so human, approachable, and had an urgency in his teaching. As if he was teaching us so that we would learn how to share the gospel of peace to save souls. Um, and this dream was in a classroom. And uh, we were many people, and um, like I just described, he was so approachable, so like a friend, you know? And yet, very disciplined, he had us, you know, we, we had to seriously learn. And um, what I got from the dream after, um, when I woke up, is my understanding was that, ah, oh, well, he wants to teach us himself. And um, ever since then, so this was the 10th of July, 2018. Ever since then, uh, when I pray, um, I often take the Bible and I ask him for knowledge. And I ask him to give me understanding of his word. And he does. I uh, ever since that dream, I must say, I, I I stop relying on other people. You know how it says, "Do not uh, trust any man," um, but I am the truth, the way, and the life. Um, <clears throat> I'm paraphrasing. It says somewhere in the Bible that we should rely on him and him only. Um, so, so encouraging, so encouraging. It was so lovely to see our Lord Jesus. Uh, so I had three, no, I had many dreams that day. I had five of them. The second one was very interesting. So I was with this woman and we left wherever we were to go through a forest and I was driving. The road was narrow, made with white stones, <clears throat> a winding elevated above the swamp road in the forest. Then along the road I noticed black garbage bags filled so I swerved around them to make sure and I would like lift the bag and go like slower when, when there was the garbage bag to avoid and to make sure it wouldn't fall off the road. <clears throat> and then at the end of the journey, okay, so we came to the end of the road, guys, and... I started running. So at the end of the road, there was like this big parking lot with a building and the building had a mirror. And we started running. And in the mirror, I could see like another blue figure that was running like double the speed of me. Um... And I was encouraged by that, that, that figure that I saw like through the mirror. And I was dressed in pink. <laughs> so, guys, at the time, in July, 
I was like so many people um, wanting to please the Lord so much um, here it says in 1 John 3 22 we receive from him whatever we ask because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him so I thought you know to please God I had to um, wear a veil I thought I had to like stop wearing makeup I thought I couldn't speak ever to a man like I was like going crazy with the mosaic laws the laws of Moses and as you read the Bible the Lord Jesus he died for our sins he made a new covenant so the old laws do not apply to us anymore and he clearly states that the commandment above all commandments is to love our neighbors as ourself as Jesus loved us and I as I'm practicing this love now I see a big big difference um, when you practice love you abstain from ever saying anything bad to anybody even if you don't agree with what they're saying eh, you, you you act kindly uh, uh, there's even a passage love your enemy that if if something about that you're if you're kind and nice only to the people that are nice to you like even sinners do that now I was all confused and I'm a new Christian and I'm um, I'm what they call a baby Christian <laughs> Uh, I'm a newborn again. It's been uh, a year and a half or something. And um, I was so, so grateful because the Lord cured me. He uh, cured me of all illnesses. I had these incurable illnesses. And hallelujah, today, praise to the Lord. I am well, so all I wanted was to please Him. My point is that... In September, or, okay, late August, late August, I came, the Lord led me to come to a video about being saved by grace, and it shocked me completely. I was like, what? what? <laughs> you, this is what... I understood which shocked me that God does all the work Jesus does all the work he did the work on the cross for us and he gets all the glory it's all about him guys it's all about God and what he does for us and it's not about what we do to please him I come back to this um, passage that I read just before because we obey his commandments when you look at the meaning of obey in Greek it means faith faith so that changes everything and it's through faith in believing that he did uh, die for us on the cross for our sins and that it's done and now we rest in his assurance that we are saved that we are washed with his blood from our sins um, and also let's not forget the most important I would say that um, it's a free gift when we uh, um, 
accept the eternal, eternal life is a free gift. So, um, what I'm trying to get to is that in this dream with the narrow path and the garbage, the garbage is all this extra. We, we tend to, as human beings, we, we want to do so much and we, we, there's nothing we can do, guys, to uh, please them. Um, there's nothing we could do to um, be righteous. We are righteous or holy through Him and believing in Him, we are sanctified. So let me get some scripture. God is good. The Lord is good. He gave me immediately <laughs> a wonderful scripture. Thank you, Lord. So here is Romans 4.4. 4. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justified the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Isn't that beautiful, guys? You know, it was never my intention to make videos. It's when I got better during a prayer at some point I heard in my heart something like, Daughter, now open your mouth and speak of the things I have done for you. Um, you know, he, he just wanted me to testify to his glory. And uh, the more I get to know him, the more... He's so incredible, guys. And uh, it was very hard for me to adapt to the simplicity of the gospel of peace. It's the good news. Good news is good news. It, it, it's not, um, you can't do anything anymore to be a good Christian. To be a good Christian, we must believe we must trust, we must just receive, because it's all about Him, guys. It's all about Jesus. We are not worthy at all, but it's through Him that we are sanctified, through Him that we are made righteous. There is nothing that, even the person that is, um, never swears, uh, like we're all human. It is not possible to be completely whole. There's only one that's holy, and it's our Lord Jesus Christ. And our sin He takes, and He clothes us with His righteousness. And um, yeah, let's rejoice, guys. I want to say a prayer. Thank you, Lord, for speaking through me. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness and kindness and for your free gift of um, everlasting life. And uh, thank you, Lord, to all my subscribers. I pray for them today. I pray that you bless them, that you protect them with your firewall of protection. And anybody and everybody that's watching this video, Thank you, Lord, for giving us strength and um, knowledge. It's all from you, and I give you all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. I love you guys. Mm, but love, love, I was going to say, but the Lord loves you so much more. Okay, have a great day. <laughs> Bye.